The impacts of rising costs are impacting people across Tucson, including on the Tohono O'odham Nation. And nine on your side, so Raina Preciado tells us how the San Javier co-op farm is rising above rising costs. At the San Javier Co-op Farm, their mission is to provide traditional crops to the community. It's very important that we keep these crops going, especially the traditional crops, and that's what the revenue from the hayside provides. Farm manager Durant Andrews says this has been difficult because of rising costs of fuel for their machinery. But recently, their increase in sales has helped keep them going. We're landing in an area of the market where we're, people are coming to us looking for feed. He says he would like to invest in more equipment to meet the demand, but high fuel costs make it hard to budget. For the traditional crops, they try to care for them by hand. There's a, there's a term in our, our, our language called shwagima, and it's, it's hard work ethic, you know, and that's what comes from being in the fields planting, because that's, truth be told, that's how our people did it back then. It's just keeping that tradition alive and keeping these foods alive. Um, it's beneficial for our health, it's beneficial for the ground, for us, and they survive just like we do in this heat. They provide foods like choya buds, which are a great source of calcium. One teaspoon of uh, choya buds is equal to a glass, of, a glass of milk. And they create flour out of velvet mesquite pods. It helps you control your glycemic index, so it helps with diabetes. So people who, have, who struggle with it on the nation, and it's a big thing for our people. Um, educating them how to use it, and it's right there in your backyard. Andrews hopes their hay production continues to bring in sales, which he says brings attention to their traditional foods and the creative ways they use them. In Tucson, Reina Preciado, Kega 9, on your side.